What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's video I'll be telling you guys how to get the Tex Mechanica's new exotic hand cannon, the first curse. Now we first off you need to be a gunsmith rank 5 to unlock the quest for this weapon. Once rank 5 is hit head to Banshee in the tower and he will have a quest for you titled Imprecation. The first step to this quest is to gather data by getting kills with any hand cannon while having a primary or hand cannon telemetry active. On completion head back to Banshee in the tower where the next part of the quest is to wait until the next arms day which comes around every Wednesday on reset time. So once arms day is here the next step is to do challenges set with a hand cannon given by the gunsmith called the imprecation. Challenges are to infuse the weapon. Here I believe you have to infuse it up to a level of 270 attack. Once done, a perk will appear called Finish Ascending, which needs to be highlighted and selected. The next step is to get 7 kill sprees. This needs to be done in PvE and you'll need to hit 7 fast headshots. Although it only has 6 bullets in a magazine, with that triple tap perk rewarding you a bullet back for 3 fast Headshots, this step is easy. I'd suggest going to the Rocket Yard, Unearth or Skywatch. But this can be done anywhere where 7 or more enemies are located at a single time. The next step after completing that step is to get 7 headshots in a single game while playing Crucible. Here I'd suggest playing Rumble. Some people will find this part difficult but eventually you will come across people with no hands and you will get it done. Once this part of the quest is completed, head back to Banshee and you will then have to wait again for another arms day to come back around. But as soon as that Wednesday appears and that arms day hits, Banshee will have the first curse waiting for you to pick up. Now the first curse hand cannon, the weapon that came before the last word and basically the complete opposite. We can see straight away it has the same stats as the Implication hand cannon used to do part of the quest. That kind of puts me off a little as I didn't really enjoy using that hand cannon whatsoever. But I refuse to let it make me have an honest opinion on this weapon until at least I've maxed it out and tried it in PvE and PvP. So perks, it has dead eye. Bonus to range, stability and movement speed while aiming down sights. It also has triple tap and then it has the first curse. Precision kills while aiming down sights grant increased range and stability until the next reload. So by looking at its mods and stats and having a general feel of the weapon by using the implication, this weapon is going to be absolutely amazing or unbearable. There will be no in between. But as soon as I have maxed it out and tried it out guys, I will bring you guys a review of it, so stay tuned for that. But guys, this is the first curse and how it's obtained. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, do drop a like, I do appreciate the support. Subscribe for Daily Destiny and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out until next time. Peace!
We all on YouTube every damn day, watching these vids of the brand new games. Bid after bid, many of y'all the same, that's why you gotta go and find DPJ. Testing these gameplays, weekly snipes, heavy uploads gonna have you a hype. Started in the UK, now he's worldwide. DPJ, go and subscribe.